In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a HomeKit automation to receive these custom actionable notifications that can run any of your Siri shortcuts to control your smart home and your smart home devices. Like when a contact sensor is open, then it can show you a live feed of a camera to see what happened. I'll be showing you step by step how to do this along with some other ideas that you can create for your smart home. Now these notifications are not natively supported by Apple to be used in an automation. So we'll need an app called Pushcut to do this. If you're not familiar with Pushcut, it's a free iOS app that allows you to create these powerful smart notifications for your smart home that can be used to control your HomeKit devices or scenes, run other shortcuts, and it works with other automation platforms. Pushcut is essentially a companion app to the native shortcuts app by Apple that will give you more features than you get with the native shortcuts app. You can also create an automation server for even more advanced automations, like having an automation from the Home app automatically run a Siri shortcut. But in this video, we'll just be focusing on the basics and how to create these notifications. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you some more ideas that you can create with other smart home devices. Now, I previously made a video showing you how I use a notification to pull up a live feed of my Batgate camera when the Batgate contact sensor is opened. And I had you guys comment the word mango if you want to see how I set this up. And a lot of you guys wanted to see how I set this up, so here's how I did it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open up the Pushcut app. And here you can see a list of all of your notifications that you have set up. Now, at the bottom here, you'll see things like notifications, triggers, widgets, server, and more. We will not be diving into these in this video. We'll just be looking at how you can create notifications for your smart home. So to create a new notification, just tap the plus button at the top right. And now I need to give this notification a name. I'll just call it um, Backgate Alert. Next, what we want to do is customize this notification right here. The first area is what you'll see pop up on your screen in bold font. And you can fully customize all the wording here. So for the main alert, I want it to say, the back gate has been opened. Okay, okay that looks good. And then um, this is what you will see whenever you tap or expand this notification. And I want it to say, tap to view the live camera feed. Next, we have actions. And this is what you want to have happen when you press and hold on the notification. And you can have different actions run here. So for example, like a shortcut, to open a URL, run actions from an automation server, or choose a HomeKit scene to run. For my case, I want it to run a shortcut that opens the live feed of my camera using an app called HomeCam. To sync your existing shortcuts with Pushcut to use in notifications, you'll have to import them by tapping Update Shortcuts and then Get Shortcut. This action adds a shortcut to your library that exports all your shortcuts to the Pushcut app. Then go back to the Pushcut app and select Exporter is installed to sync your shortcuts with Pushcut. After adding the shortcut to your library initially, you only need to choose Exporter is installed to import the latest shortcuts going forward. Now I can add my Batgate camera shortcut and I'll rename this action to Open Live Feed and tap Done. You could add multiple actions or options for this notification to display. And each action can run a different shortcut or a HomeKit scene, like maybe calling somebody or just opening up the Home app directly. For my case, I just want to add the Batgate camera shortcut, so I'll remove all these extra actions here. Now because I just have one action, I can actually set the default action to run this shortcut automatically when I tap on this notification. What's really cool is that you can have a custom sound play whenever the notification comes through and even add a custom image for the notification. So I'll choose a back gate image I have here. So now that everything is made, let's go ahead and test the notification to make sure everything runs correctly. So we'll tap this test notification button right here and I should get an alert. Yep, there it is. And whenever I tap on the notification, it'll run a new shortcut here. That will show me my back gate camera. This sometimes can take a couple of seconds to load, but yep, there we go. That's really cool. Everything looks good here, so we'll tap done. Then we'll go back to the Pushcut app and then we'll choose add and then done. Next, what we need to do is basically tie this shortcut to an automation in the Home app 
to have it run when my back gate is opened. And later on in the video, I'll show you some other ideas that you can use a notification for in your smart home. All right, so to do this, what you'll have to do is first open up this notification here. And then at the bottom left, you'll see where it says copy URL. So you wanna go ahead and tap on that and choose copy URL. Make sure you choose copy URL and not copy curl. Because if you choose copy curl, this will not work. So choose copy URL and we'll use this later on. Next, what we want to do is open up the Apple Home app and we need to create a new home automation. So we can tap this plus button here and then choose add automation. And now I want to choose whenever a sensor detects something. And then I'll scroll all the way down to my back gate contact sensor, which is right here. I'll tap next and I'll choose whenever it opens and I can choose to run only a certain time today or whenever somebody is home. For me, all this is just fine. So I'll tap next right there. And now we want to scroll all the way down because we're not running any kind of scenes. Scroll all the way down to convert to shortcut. And this is the key right here. Now, because this shortcut is created in the Apple Home app, that does mean that it will run on a home hub. So you will need a home hub in order to do this, like an Apple TV or a HomePod or HomePod Mini. This is different than a shortcut that runs from the shortcuts app. Those shortcuts run on a personal device, like an iPhone or an iPad. And since a home hub cannot do as many things as your iPhone or your iPad can, this means you are limited to the actions that you can choose in the home app, like running other shortcuts. This is where we'll have push cuts talk to the home app to run other shortcuts. So we'll remove this action here, then in the search bar, type in URL. Okay, you wanna choose that one right there. And then basically wanna paste this URL from push cut right into there. Now this looks kind of weird, but just ignore this for now. So next we want to basically open this URL to run our shortcut. So you want to go back in the search box here and type in, just type in get contents of URL. Okay, and that is perfect. So now basically whenever this automation runs, it will get the contents of the URL, which will show us our back gate camera. And now we're ready to test it by pressing this play button right here. So whenever we run it, it will get contents of that URL and just ignore that right there. And you see this alert right here, we tap on this and then boom, we'll be able to see our camera. Yep, there it is right there. Now, if you want to have a shortcut wait a few seconds or minutes before running, say like only run if a door or window has been open for over a minute or five minutes, then just add a wait action at the top and choose how long to wait for before running the shortcut. All right, so we know this shortcut works in the home app, but does it work in real life if I were to open up the back gate? Well, let's go on outside and test it and see if everything works. All right, so here I am at my back gate. And whenever I open up the back gate contact sensor, I'll get an alert right here that it was opened. And then I'll get the push cut alert. Whenever I tap on it, it'll show me the live feed of my camera here in just a second. And you can see this is a live feed right here. Now I should mention that I am using an Acara contact sensor inside a weatherproof enclosure from Prince Buyer Designs. Now neither company are sponsoring this video. That's what I have found to work well for me. But any brand of contact sensor will work for this as long as you can weatherproof it. So since you can have a HomeKit automation trigger any of your Siri shortcuts, either manually or automatically with an automation server, this really opens up the door to many possibilities of new automations that you can create in your smart home. And here's just a few ideas. In the evening, you can quickly run different HomeKit scenes to set the ambience, say like a scene that dims your house lights or running a shortcut that turns on the Apple TV and a light strip. At night, a notification could remind you to lock back a door if your door is still unlocked and you can just tap it to lock it back. This same idea could be applied to other things that may be left on in a room, like lights or a smart plug. For example, my wife likes to curl her hair and I can put a smart plug on it to be able to control the power of the curling iron from our phones. I could have an automation run every day that alerts me if the curling iron is left on for over five minutes in case she forgets to turn it off. And then I can quickly turn off the curling iron right from this notification. As you can tell, there's an endless amount of possibilities of automation that you can create in your smart home with PushCut. I would love to hear what kind of notifications that you guys are using in your smart home with PushCut. Here's some more automation videos right here. And here's another video I think you will like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.